Hello everybody and welcome to Planet Munch, creative makes and recycled waste. As you can see, Totsy has been raiding the rubbish. He has found some great items for making and he's very pleased with himself, aren't you Totsy? We're going to be making a recycled reef, a rubbish reef. Here's one we made earlier. And we hope you enjoy our session and send us lots of pictures. Have fun, stay well and stay indoors. Bye. Hi, okay, welcome to Creative Makes from Household Waste. Uh, we've been raiding the rubbish to find lots of things that we can work with. And we're aiming to make a seascape, a nice fishy seascape today, made using cardboard. Anything really is a canvas, we'll look at some of those examples in a minute. Um, some card that we painted nicely, we've collaged the background here but you could paint that. And then we found lots of nice beer cans and old bits from milk bottle tops. And we stuck them all in to create the rubbish reef for the fish to live in. So we raid our rubbish. Uh, these are going to come in handy because that's a nice card to make our fish later. Uh, we need some pens for drawing our fish, um, some PVA glue, I've pre-mixed some, some different coloured paints because we could paint our background, some little bits of bark here that might be nice, paint brushes, pens and other nice bits for collaging. We might also need a pinny because we're going to get a bit painty and gluey, so if we stick our pinnies on. Okay, so for our canvases, I found a shoe box, but you could use a shoe box or any kind of old box. And I've decided to go for collaging, so I've shredded up lots of coloured paper. Here you could use magazines or any resources you have available to you. Even old paintings, they could look quite nice too. I've got some pre-mixed PVA glue, which I'm using to layer up. And I put a layer of PVA on and then paint over the top of each bit of paper as it goes on. You don't have to collage here, you could paint and that would give you just as good coverage, just need a little bit more drying time. So I keep building with the colours, loads and loads of PVA and get the look that you want just right. Layering lots of blues and like I said, magazines would do exactly the same or just newspapers could create a good background. Newspapers with a layer of blue paint over the top, you could do a light wash of paint. And then on to making the fish, we'll leave that to dry. I used old tea boxes and a round jar to draw around to create a fish template. And I cut round him. You can create your own fish or other sea creatures if you like. How about an octopus or a starfish? I just free cut some of mine sometimes. Always be careful when you're using scissors to keep them pointed away from your face and beware of people around you. There we go, four fish. I pre-mixed lots of paint colours. We had some nice blues and some nice oranges and reds. Enjoy the mixing the colours and make up your own. Then put a nice base layer on your fish. Mix it with a little bit water of water if the paint's a bit thick and keep layering. Then use another colour for some contrasting details and keep going over them until you're happy that you can see none of the cardboard underneath. I think I did about three layers on my fish and then went round with different colours for some detailing. I painted the fins and the tails and the lips. Give your fish a look and enjoy beautifying them. Spend a little bit of time on each fish. Give them a bit of character. They are individuals. When you are happy with the look, maybe it's time to go on to some other details too. Lovely lips, a little bit of lipstick, some colour on the fins. Lovely. Now I found some old tin foil uh, and some other old wrappers and I'm going to cut some scales. If you've got any bits of mirror or some other sparkly bits and gems hanging around, then glue them to your fish too. You could use an old bead for an eye or some old bits of 
mirror tile would also look nice but equally tin foil and any kind of sweet wrapper cut, cut into a scale shape will look nice go for it whatever you think looks nice then onto our rubbish reef so biscuit wrappers cake wrappers beer bottle tops wine lids all sorts anything you can find that you think would look good I cut some pre-painted paper that we had lying around into a nice base for our reef and I put a layer of PVA on the back and then a layer of PVA over the top and that secures it nicely in place and then I had some wrappers which I cut into shape and then I started building some more complex reef structures by merging bottle lids with biscuit wrappers so go for it now you can use your own creativity to build however you like and go with whatever you think looks nice there's also plenty of space for some seashells if you've got any knocking around or a little seahorse or a starfish and now it's time to add our fish on they go put them where you like where you think they look good i think these lot are having a chat how about you that's it and for some finishing touches a nice layer of pva all over the fish so they stay nice and securely in in place and then add an eye for a bit of character you can add eyes or eyelashes or all sorts of things and make sure everything is secured stand back and enjoy your work well done a beautiful recycled reef enjoy have fun send us your images bye